Hi there, this is Josh. Let's take a look at the Make Unique Texture option that we have in SketchUp. So I've got a basic kitchen model here, and I want to toss a backsplash material right in this area here. So the first thing I want to do is go to File Import and locate that image file. And I've got a JPEG ready to roll here, and I'm making sure that the format is Use as Texture before I import that. And I'm not too worried about the scale right now, I'm just going to toss this on here roughly the size that I want. I can always change the scale of that later. And you can see that's that's a pretty terrible backsplash and that's because that the image that I pulled in here has I'll go to texture position and show you how it's tiling. The boundaries of that JPEG file include a lot of white space and that's not really great for use in SketchUp right now. Uh, and of course you could go into uh, Photoshop or some other external image editor and uh, do whatever you want to the original JPEG. Uh, but if it's just a simple cropping, hey, why not just do that in SketchUp? So here's how you do that. We're just going to draw a rectangle on top of this, this face here in SketchUp that includes this image. I'm going to draw a rough one first, and now we'll zoom in and use a combination of the Select tool and the Move tool to define the boundaries of a new texture that we want to make. So I'm going to go to the Move tool, or you can tap M, and I'm going to stay on the axes directions there, the blue, green, and red. And the goal here is to define a boundary for this new texture where I can control a little bit better uh, where a seam is as it tiles or repeats across a face. So you can see there is a nice uh, middle of the grout that I can use there. Same thing with the bottom. I can move this line and kind of match that up to where that middle of the grout is so that it tiles a little bit better there. And then we'll do the same on this side. We don't have uh, a grout line perfectly placed there but you'll see later that it, it'll look pretty good so I've got those four lines in place and now I'll open up my materials browser here with that paint bucket tool and I'll jump into the in model category so you can see that when I right click and do this now keep your eye over here on the these uh, material swatches there when I right click on this newly defined area and go to make unique texture you'll see a new material swatch appear there that is based on the boundaries that I just defined. If I zoom out a little bit now, I can go back to that paint bucket tool or B for the shortcut there. And I can, uh, on the Mac here, I can use Command. You can see in the bottom left, SketchUp is letting me know that Command is a way to sample this material. If you're on the Windows, you'll see a different key there. And then I can apply that elsewhere. And I no longer need those boundaries. And you can still see you know, where the seam is here as it's repeating, but it's actually a tile. So in, in this case, it's pretty relevant. Let's uh, jump back out and take a look. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So, that is how you make a unique texture in SketchUp. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.